Hey there, it's Sarah from Just My Typewriter, and I'm here with a quick little unboxing and a first impressions of the Quirky Writer Typewriter Keyboard. Boy, that's a mouthful. Established in 2014 as a Kickstarter campaign, Quirky Writer Toys Inc. released their first iteration of this keyboard in 2015. This particular version is the Quirky Writer S, and if you watch their Kickstarter video, the designer talks about his love for mechanical typewriters, their design, and their symbolic status of being for writers and creators. And then he also mentions his obsession with mechanical keyboards that are a far more tactile approach to typing. This version has both USB capabilities and Bluetooth. The keys are all hyper responsive and mechanical, but they're also interchangeable with the quirky writer manufacturers adding keycaps for the machine. In the initial iteration, the carriage return lever didn't have anything to do, but in Quirky Writer S, the carriage return lever actually works as an enter button and is programmable to different intervals of point spacing. In addition, the two carriage knobs on the side of the platener are also interactive, so the right knob controls volume and the left scrolls. On the left side of the keyboard, you can select USB or Bluetooth connectivity, and then on the right, you have a light that indicates whether the caps lock is engaged and a battery light to also let you know when it's fully charged. Under these lights is the on-off switch, which definitely took me a second to figure out because my keyboard wasn't working. Turns out I just didn't have it on, whoops. And then on the back of the keyboard is a USB port and the connectivity button, which allows you to pair the device with Bluetooth. What's great about this keyboard is the aesthetics. While having a functionality of your usual computer keyboard, it looks like a typewriter keyboard and even includes a platen. It visually looks like a typewriter and has the functionality of plugging in or pairing to your devices. The addition of some colored keys like the tab and delete key on this keyboard also add to the charm of the device because it's reminiscent of some typewriter keyboards that have several different colored keycaps to assist you in typing. It's also quite heavy compared to some of the other typewriter keyboards I've seen. It weighs about three pounds, and I think this adds to the feel of the typewriter aesthetic. Aesthetics aside is definitely something I will have to get used to using. The feel of the keys is much different than an integrated laptop keyboard, and this is due to the mechanical nature of the keyboard. The reason they picked this keyboard design is because it helps create the noise of typing that is reminiscent of an actual typewriter. I'm working on getting the feeling of the keys down and it's just something that will take some time, which is why I am typing out this script using the Quirky Writer right now. As of right now, the backspace button feels a little bit far away and I have to think about hitting enter on the carriage return in order to train my brain to use that lever instead of just hitting enter. There is a button on the keyboard, but I would hate to not utilize this particularly stellar feature. Compared to a real typewriter, this really isn't in the same category. It's definitely a cool tool, but it has such a different job and feel that I don't feel like comparing it to a typewriter would be fair, at least in this first impression. I have seen other typewriter keyboards, and I must say that this one appears to be much more hefty and durable looking. So here's another brand of typewriter keyboard that my mom has, and I find that I much prefer the Quirky Writer for a couple of reasons. First of all, I could not figure out how to connect this via Bluetooth on my device. Maybe I'm really stupid, but I just couldn't press a button and magically be connected, and this is why I collect typewriters and not vintage iPhones. Secondly, the device tray, which is created to hold a tablet or phone on the other brand of keyboard, seems to be really small. I couldn't even fit my phone into the slot. And I have a case on my phone because I'm heavily accident prone, and even with that case, my phone fits into the tray slot of the Quirky Writer. I also really appreciate the USB aspect of this keyboard as I'm much more likely to use it with the USB function. And in comparison to the other keyboard, the Quirky Writer is much heavier. It's like 1.5 times heavier. And I like this about the Quirky Writer because it feels like I'm less likely to break it and that might be something I could do to something that's a lot lighter. That being said, my mom loves her keyboard and uses it often and has never had any issues. I will say the keycaps are not as mechanical on her keyboard, which makes the transition from an integrated laptop keyboard to a typewriter keyboard a lot smoother, but again, that is something you can get used to as you work more with the keyboard. I'm already getting a better hang of it, except for that dreaded backspace key. Maybe my hands are too small? I'm sure we'll be playing with this device again, and I want to thank you guys for watching today. I want to encourage you to check out our Instagram at just.my.typewriter and remind you that you're just my type writer.